Hello. Welcome to the third discussion on counting problems. In the two earlier discussions, we looked at certain kinds of counting problems. In the first discussion, we looked at the basic principles of counting called multiplication principle and addition principle. And in the second discussion, we mainly looked at arrangement problems. Arrangement problems are problems where the order is very important. In this discussion, we shall focus our attention on selection problems. Here, the order is not important. To begin with, let us start with an arrangement problem and try to understand the difference between arrangement and selection. Let us say there is a container in which there are five plain plastic letters, the letters that children that usually use to play with, five plastic letters, one A, one B, one C, one D and one E. The question is, in how many ways can you arrange two letters from this box in a line? How many ways are there in which you can arrange two letters from this box in a line? Arrangement means order is important. So the possibilities will be A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E, B, A. Look here, A, B and B, A are different because the order is important. B, C, B, D, B, E, C, A, C, B, C, D, C, E, B, A, D, B, D, C, D, E, E, A, E, B, E, C, and E, D. Total number of possibilities will be 20. If you look at this mathematically, the first place can be filled in 5 ways. There are 5 letters, all of them are different. So the first place can be filled in 5 ways. Once I use one letter, that letter is no more available. So the second place can be filled in 4 ways. Total number of possibilities will be 5 multiplied by 4, which is 20. In mathematical parlance, we can also represent this using 5P2, number of permutations of 5 different things taking 2 at a time without repetition when the arrangement is linear. Now let us look at a selection situation. If I ask you to pick 2 letters from this box, how many possibilities will be there? What is the difference between picking and arrangement? When I arrange, the order is important. So A, B and B, A are considered two different arrangements. But if I select or if I pick, A, B and B, A are the same because whether I pick it as A followed by B or B followed by A, I have the same two letters A and B in my hand. Similarly, A, C and C, A are same, A, D and D, A are same, A, E and E, A are same, B, C and C, B are same, B, D and D, B are same, B, E and E, B are same, C, D and D, C are same, C, E and E, C are same, D, E and E, D are same. So the total number of possible ways in which I can select two letters from this box without repetition will be 10 in total. This is usually represented by a symbol 5C2. Like 5P2, 5C2 also has an associated meaning. The meaning is number of ways of selecting two things from a set of five different things without repetition. Now, in the previous discussion, we saw that the value of 5P2 is 5 factorial by 5 minus 2 factorial. What will be the value of 5C2 mathematically? When you look at this mathematically, the value of 5C2 will be 5 factorial by 5 minus 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial or in general NCR will be NPR by R factorial. Let us see how this comes. Now we saw that the number of ways of arranging two things from five different things is 5P2. The value is 5 factorial by 5 minus 2 factorial or 20. The arrangement can happen in two ways. 
one we can simply arrange another possibility is we can first select and then arrange in that way if you think 5p2 will be 5c2 into something that is you first select and then arrange whatever is selected within the two places how many ways can you arrange the two things that you select you can do it in two factorial ways so 5p2 will be 5c2 into 2 factorial so 5c2 will be 5p2 divided by 2 factorial that is 5 into 4 by 1 into 2 a simple technique to find 5c2 will be start at 5 write two things in the reducing order that will give you 5p2 divided by 2 factorial likewise 1 is 10 c3 mean 10 c3 means number of ways of selecting three things from 10 different things without repetition what will be the value it will be 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 divided by 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 the numerator is basically 10 p3 divided by 3 factorial Now let us apply this learning to a few problems. Let us say we have a class of five students. Three of them are girls, two of them are boys. I want to select a two-member team from this class. Please note, there are five students in the class. Three of them are girls, two of them are boys. I want to select a team of two members. How many ways can you do that? Now here I have not mentioned any restriction. You can select in whatever way you want. It can be all girls, it can be all boys, it can be boy and girl. There are three girls. Let me consider three girls as G1, G2 and G3. Let the boys be named as B1 and B2. Let us list down, let us enumerate. I want a two member team. One possibility is G1 and G2. Another possibility is G1, G3. Then G1, boy 1. G1, boy 2. G2, G1 need not be considered because G1, G2 and G2, G1 used be the same team. The order is not important. So the next possibility would be G2, G3, G2, boy 1, G2, boy 2, then it would be G3, boy 1, G3, boy 2 and finally boy 1 and boy 2. How many possibilities? 4, 3, 2, 1, total there will be 10 possibilities. When you look at this mathematically, what I want is, I want to select two people from the set of five people. All the five people are different. So, total number of possibilities will be 5C2. We have seen the value of 5C2 as 5 into 4 by 1 into 2. The value is 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Okay, so we have looked at this situation both through the mathematical approach and the enumeration method. Now let me introduce some restrictions to the situation. In this class there are five students, three of them are girls, two of them are boys. I want the same two member team to be selected but the restriction is I want one girl and one boy to be part of the team. Let's see how many ways that can happen. I want a girl, that girl can be G1 G2 or G3. Then I want a boy. It can be boy 1 or boy 2. So the possibilities are G1, B1, G1, B2, G2, B1, G2, B2, G3, B1 and G3, B2. So total number of possibilities will be 6. 
If you look at this mathematically, I want to select a girl and a boy. So how many ways can I select a girl? There are three girls. One of the girls should definitely be part of the team. So one girl should come from this three. So that can happen in 3C1. The value of 3C1 is 3. Then I want one boy. That one boy should come from these two boys. So the number of ways in which I can select one boy from two boys will be 2C1. The value of 2C1 is 2. I want a girl and a boy. So apply multiplication principle of counting. The total number of possible ways will be 3 multiplied by 2, which is 6. Let us consider another possible question based on the same situation. We have five students in the class, three girls and two boys. The girls are G1, G2, G3 and the boys are B1 and B2. The question is, in how many different ways can you have two member team selected from this set of five students such that both the students in the team have the same gender? That means the team should have either both the students being girls or both the students should be boys. One possibility is girl 1 and girl 2. Another possibility is girl 1 and girl 3. It could be girl 2 and girl 3. Or it could be boy 1 and boy 2. So there are four possibilities. If you look at this mathematically, I want two people to be selected into the team. Both of them should either come from the girls or both of them should come from the boys. How many ways can I select two girls from three girls? It will be 3C2. The value of 3C2 is 3 into 2 by 1 into 2. The value is 3. How many ways can I select two boys? Two boys from 2. It is 2C2. 2C2 will be 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 1 multiplied by 2. That is 1. Total number of possibilities will be this or this. That is, I can't have both girls and both boys. It could be either this or that. So applying, multi so applying addition principle of counting, the total number of possibilities will be 3 plus 1, which is 4. Okay. Now, in all these problems, we could enumerate because the number of people involved was small. Let us see how you do this problem if the number is a little more bigger. Let us say there were 50 students in the class, 30 of them being girls and 20 of them being boys. In how many ways can you select a four member team from the 50 students of which 30 are girls and 20 are boys? I want a four member team. There is no restriction. It could be all girls, it could be all boys, it could be two girls and two boys, or three girls and one boy, or one girl and three boys. All possibilities can happen. There is no restriction. So the total number of possibilities will be 50 C4. Number of ways of selecting four people from 50. What will be the value of 50 C4? Start at 50, write four things in the reducing order. 50 multiplied by 49 multiplied by 48 multiplied by 47 divided by 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. It will be a big number. If I ask you to find how many ways can I select the four member team such that there are two girls and two boys. These two girls should come from 30. These two boys should come from the 20. I want two girls and two boys make me a four member team. Can you find out the answer? The value will be 30 C2 multiplied by 20 C2. Why? I need to have these two girls coming from the set of 30 girls. So that can be selected in 30 C2 ways. I want two boys to be coming from 20 boys. That can be done in 20 C2. I want two girls and two boys. That means we need to apply the multiplication principle of counting. So total number of possibilities will be 30 C2 multiplied by 20 C2. In all the selection problems that, had, that we have discussed in this section till now, 
the elements involved, all of them were distinct. They were all different. Now let us see a situation where they are not different. Let us say there are three red balls and three black balls. The question is, in how many different ways can we select three balls from this set of six balls? There are three red balls and three black balls. What we have to note here is, all these three red balls are identical. We cannot distinguish one from the other. All these three black balls are, are identical. We cannot distinguish one from the other. We can distinguish a red ball from a black ball, but within the black balls, they are indistinguishable. The question is, how many ways are there in which we can select three balls out of these six balls? Many of you might have a tendency to write 6C3. This is not correct because when we say NCR, the basic definition of NCR is number of ways of selecting R things from a set of N different things without repetition. These N things should be different. Here these six things are not different. Three of them are alike, three of them are of the same kind. So in this case, we have to look at this problem from a different angle altogether. Now when we are selecting three balls from these six balls, there are typically two different situations. One in which all the balls involved are of the same color and another in which two balls are of one kind and the third ball or if it is of another kind. One possibility is, let us say, all three balls are red. How many ways can I have all three balls red? There is only one way. It can be red, red and red. Second possibility is all the three balls are black in color. It can be black, black and black. Then the possibility is two balls are of one type and the third ball is of a different type. That can happen as red, red, black or black, black, red. So the number of ways in which we can select three balls from this set of six balls where we have three red balls and three black balls will be four. These are the four ways in which we can do that. We cannot apply a general formula here. We have to look at the specific situation and apply our thought process. Now in this discussion, we had looked at counting problems where selection is involved. The difference between permutation and combination or selection is that in permutation or arrangement, the order is important, whereas in selection or combination, the order is not important. Thank you.